Hola a todos. Um, this is a, a, a video about an update on the immersion course that Cynthia and I are planning to arrange. Right, so what, what I want to do is I want to give you an idea of, of where we are and also what we plan to do. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who sent in so many suggestions and um, so many kind of uh, positive uh, messages saying, yes, we'd love to come. Really, we, we've had a tremendous uh, feedback from, from the videos. Now, what, we, what we've decided that we're going to do is we're going to do a tester, okay? The reason that we're going to do a tester is that because the, although um, we have done immersion courses before, but we've done them on a very, um, not, not a small scale, once we had 15 people on an immersion course, but it was more like it between our students at home and um, it was very informal. This one's a bit more formal because we're going to have formal classes, okay? So, um, what, we what we want to do is kind of explain what we're going to do and then explain why we're going to do that and then what the plan is for the future. First of all, obviously you know that um, Cynthia and I have just had a baby, so now is not a good time to be doing anything, but we're planning. So we think that probably um, by April of next year, April 2017, although we haven't put a fixed date on, we're going to run our first immersion course here in the Madrid area. It's actually going to be based in Torrejón de Ardoz, which is the town where Cynthia's parents live. And it's a brilliant, like, it's a brilliant town because it's got everything that you could imagine there, but it's not so big that you lose the, the Spanish feel. And it's not tourist touristical. Touristical? It's not, how do you say that? It's not touristy? It's not tourist, touristic. Yeah, at all. Yeah, people don't speak English in this town at all. It's, it's a Spanish town. So, in the future, once we get this thing going and we see how, it, how we manage it, etc., then we will start to offer extra things. Like, for example, um, uh, being able to link the immersion course with something else, whether it be Spanish cuisine, learning Spanish cuisine, or doing a yoga class, or, or going walking, or whatever. We'll look at the options there, but at the beginning, that's not what we're going to do. What the course is going to be is this, basically. We're going to have a course that has 20 hours of formal, the, let's say, the classroom learning, okay? So that's 20 hours uh, 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 across five days. The course will run from a Monday to a Friday, yeah? If you come, you'll come and stay on the Sunday night and on the Friday morning, you check out and that's, uh, and we do the course and then that's it. And then you make your way home accordingly, okay? Um, so that's what the course will be. It's, it's, a very, it's going to be very basic in, in terms of its, its structure. But we're going to have 20 hours of formal speaking, speaking in Spanish. And also we're going to have 10 hours a week of what, it, let's call them practical experiences. So they'll be outside of the classroom um, experience. They'll be outdoors and they'll be doing things the normal, the things that you would do in normal life, but the things that cause us issues, like just simple things like um, going to a market. There's a market on a Wednesday, it's called El Miércoles, we've even done a video on it. Um, we'll be going there in the morning and we'll be doing some basic shopping, but we'll be learning how to, how to order things and how to ask for things and how to barter and stuff like that. And then we'll go and do it. Does that make sense? So what we'll be doing is we'll be doing classroom work, preparing ourselves for the practical experience of actually just living and being, living the culture, as, as they say here, viviendo la cultura. So that's what the class is going, the, the week's class is going to be like. So it'll be um, in the morning, starting, let's say, probably about 10 o'clock, starting in the morning, and the formal class finishing at two, then lunch, and then after lunch, uh, it'll be some kind of practical excursion. Yeah, the nighttime will be your own. Um, but one of the, well, let's talk about the lodgings, okay? 
In the future, we want to be able to offer people the opportunity of living with a Spanish family or doing what they want to do. But at the moment, this is all very new. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose one place, one option, which is a hotel, which we found in the center of, you're going to see the, see the pictures here. We, we found it in the center of Torajon. It's a family run hotel. It's, um, it's what's called uh, un hostal, yeah? It's rustic, it's Spanish. The, fa the family that run it don't speak any English. Um, so it's kind of like, it's true, it's, it's the most classic Spanish kind of hotel that you might stay in, local. Um, in that hotel, the 10 people who go on the course, we've got a maximum of 10 people on the course. Why? Because that would be too big if it was bigger than 10. And also the hostel only has 10 rooms. So obviously if you come as a couple, then you'll have a room together. Um, but if you come on, on your own, you'll have your own individual room. The rooms are normal rooms. They're just normal rooms, as you would expect in any hotel. They have uh, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, uh, free throughout the whole building, and each room has a television. Okay, so it's what you would expect. Nothing fancy, but we're not after fancy. We're after, that's not what it's about. Staying in a luxury hotel, it's about getting the practice and practicing your Spanish. So what we're going to do is this, the hotel is going to provide breakfast and it's going to provide lunch, a uh, menu, yeah? So that's, uh, for those who don't know what a menu is, that's a full three course uh, lunch, which is very typical in Spain. Obviously, for those people who have uh, food uh, preferences or issues, we would talk about that beforehand and I've talked to them and they said, no problem, as long as they know they can cater for anything. Obviously, if you've got a really weird preference, you may have to uh, pay a difference, you know, because if they're gonna have to do something extremely special, then we may have to talk about a difference in price for that, but typically not, okay? So then the um, evening meal will be in a different place um, and that will be, again, just a, an evening meal. Remember that the lunch is the biggie in Spain and the evening meal is, is not as big, but well, it's as big as you want it really, okay. So what we're aiming to do is to have what you would call all-inclusive. So when you come here, you have your class, you have your excursions. The only thing that you would pay for with the excursion is if we get on transport, yeah? There won't be buses arranged or anything like that. If we go anywhere, we'll be getting public transport and you'll be buying your own ticket and you'll be asking for your ticket and all of that. So. When you travel, you'll pay. And if we, if, you, if we want to enter into a place to see something, you'll pay that. But apart from that, the price that we're gonna offer will be an all-inclusive price. The only thing you won't pay, we won't pay for is, is the alcohol and the drinks. The drinks are yours. You know, if you want to drink lots of alcohol and, and everything, that's your choice, you pay for it. But the food will be all in, in, included in the price. Yeah. Um, so we've got the, the hostel, we've got the breakfast, you'll have breakfast, you'll have lunch, and then you'll have evening meal. During the evening, during the week, so that you don't all end up speaking English, which is what can happen uh, if you're all together, um, we will be arranging for Spanish native speakers to come to the hostel, to the bar, and there you will be, they'll be there, their job is to talk to you in Spanish. So you can, if you choose to, you can talk to them in Spanish. Some people, by the end of the evening, their head's in the shed and they say, oh, I can't speak Spanish anymore. That's it, that's fine, absolutely fine, okay? So, you'll have a choice. If you want to say, no, I'm, I'm gonna speak Spanish the whole time, then you'll have that opportunity. Obviously, if you wanted to go and explore, then everywhere you go, you will have to speak Spanish because people don't speak English in Torajón de Ardoz. Right? It's just not the thing. Um, so that's, that's where we are. In terms of cost, um, and this is the cost includes accommodation, food, and classes. Right? The only thing that will be extra is if we do an excursion where you have to pay uh, una entrada or un ticket or whatever. Yeah? So we estimate that, that the five-day course, uh, five-night course, 
will cost around about 800 euros per person. Yep. Uh, for uh, socio, said socio members, there'll be a discount. But for just for everybody, about 800. Obviously, if you, if you come as a couple, there'll be a reduction on the room uh, because the a double room um, will be slightly cheaper than if you have a single room, if you know what I mean. For two people, it'll work out cheaper, but not massively. It's not a massive thing, okay? Um, so if you, if you think about that, around about 800 euros. We haven't pinned it down, but that's what I think it'll be, more or less. Um, how this, the classes will be structured is this. I've already explained, except for a Wednesday where the market is only on the morning, so the classroom will be moved to a little bit later, the classroom event. The classes will start at 10, they'll finish at 2, we'll have lunch, and then depending on the, what the plan is, maybe about 4 or 5 o'clock, the excursion. It'll be a, um, a couple of hours of excursion, yeah, doing something, having some kind of experience where you've got to speak in Spanish. Um, how, the, how the week will be structured is this pretty much, this is what we think at the moment. We won't be doing the whole week because we can't. So what we'll do is this. The plan is that Cynthia and I will do one, one day, just Cynthia and I with the group. Then we'll have another teacher, somebody of, of a like mind to us. Who, they'll do three of the days. And then one day, I'm planning to do that just myself. And that day will be, will be special because it will be a day where probably a little bit later on in the week, but where you have the opportunity to kind of bottom out all of your confusions and the, the misunderstandings or what you're not sure about and, and all kinds of stuff like that. And we'll be playing lots of um, games and stuff like that. Fun stuff, okay? So that's kind of how the, how the week will pan out. If then you want to um, plan to stay in Madrid and do other things, or whatever, that's entirely up to you. So our course will be from pretty much Sunday evening, yeah, until Friday, uh, Thursday evening, I suppose Friday will be the last day of the course. Obviously for those people who are traveling a long way, it makes sense to come here on the Sunday evening. If you're already living in Spain, and you want to travel in the morning on the um, the Monday, super. We can discuss all of those details. Yeah. So that's it. So that's where the plan is at the moment. Sometime in April, I'll probably give some dates. And then if it fits in with your schedule, then let me know. And we can start to kind of make things a little bit more definite. Um, obviously, we need, we want to have 10 people on the course, we need something like a minimum of, of, let's say, seven for it to be viable. Otherwise it won't run. Yeah, but given the amount of interest that's come through, I think that we should be able to fill that course up. If then we get more, inf more interest, then we can always run other weeks. This is like a tester week. This is to see how it goes, how difficult it is to organize, or how easy it is to organize, and how well it goes, etc. Yeah, so, Eso es todo. Um, if, you, uh, if you are definitely interested, it's not a commitment, you're not going to commit, but let me know about that week in April so I can start getting an idea of, of when. I don't know whether we should tie the week up to the week of the holidays that the UK has, the school holidays, or whether we should have it outside of the school holidays. It depends on your circumstances because some, pe some people actually find it better to travel outside of the holiday time. The flights tend to be a little bit cheaper, but some people only have the holiday time available. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what, uh, what the response is, yeah? Um, and what, what you think. So there you are. I'll leave that with you. And you send me an email to let me know whether you would be interested in, in being on the first Lightspeed Spanish Immersion course, okay? Vale. Hasta luego.